back at it again, and we've got one here with Governor Greg Abbott and Tucker, of course. And uh, I won't I won't say too much. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure you're following me on social media too. All of those links are down below in the description box. Uh, and with that being said, let's dive in. So we know why the administration is doing this. They're trying to change the population of the United States, and it's absolutely working Facts. better than anyone ever imagined. But for, well, really two years now, we've asked, why is Texas allowing this? Don't mess with Texas. Well, Texas is being messed with in a very big way. And the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, just won re-election by opposing open borders. Last November, he said he would deploy a total of 10,000 National Guard troops to the border to fix the problem and keep foreign nationals out because we have laws in this country. But in fact, the actual number of deployed troops was nowhere near that. It was about 5,000, according to the Texas Tribune. Keep in mind, Texas National Guard has about 20,000 troops. So we've asked maybe 15 times on the air, where are the soldiers to stop this and save the rest of our country? To, on Tuesday, Greg Abbott did deploy a small number of National Guards members and state troopers through the Rio Grande. They formed a line. They blocked dozens of migrants from surrendering to Border Patrol agents on the other side. It worked. The Border Patrol stayed behind the National Guard. They couldn't process the migrants and release them into the United States. So the truth. Wow. Wow. What do you know? What do you know? And look at that. All it took was some makeshift uh, fencing made with razor wire and um, some troops with um, some weapons. That's all it took. All it took. Shut down. Completely done. Over with. You're not coming through here. Now, granted, they probably just went a little farther down and <laughs> crossed over, you know, but at least at least we see that it can work. All right. Great news. The migrants and release them into the United States. So <clears throat> the truth is, Greg Abbott is a governor of one of our most important states, maybe the most important state, actually. He's commander in chief of his state's military forces. He could order the National Guard to the entire border right now. And so why hasn't he? So again, we've needled Greg Abbott countless times on the show and asked why. And tonight he's agreed to come on and explain. And we're grateful for that. Governor Abbott, thank you very much for coming on. So just a very clear question. Why two years ago not say, I'm the governor of Texas. They're messing with Texas. I have a military force I command. It's called the National Guard. We're going to block the border and save the country. Why didn't you do that? Why aren't you doing that now? Wow. Wow. Shout out, shout out to Tucker. Getting straight to it. <laughs> Shout out to Tucker. I love it. I love it. I love it. No, no, no uh, beating around the bush or anything. He went straight in for it. All right. Love sure. It. Tucker, I'll fully answer your question. I do have to first, however, follow up on your <clears throat> earlier comments. And, and that is uh, when you look at the disaster on the border caused by Joe Biden, uh, if yes. Texas or just the border region got just one penny for every dollar spent in the Ukraine, we would be able to secure our border. In that budget that Congress is about to pass, they're giving money to Tunisia, but not to Texas. Uh -huh. But to be clear, Tucker, about your direct question to me, there's an, a very easy and direct answer to it that you could find out. If you just go through my Twitter account, you'll see about five or six days a week, we're posting images of what our National Guard is doing on the border. They didn't just begin in El Paso. Uh, during the entire time that Joe Biden has been president, We've had thousands of National Guard on the border constantly. First, let's do the math based upon what you laid out. We actually don't have 19,000 National Guard at our disposal. The reason is because Texas leads all states in the country in having our National Guard deployed to regions across the entire world. And so thousands of our National Guard are actually in other countries at this time. Others hmm. have just returned from deployment. That said, over the course of the past two years during Operation Lone Star, we've had up to 10,000 National Guard deployed to the border doing in other regions what you saw them doing in El Paso. What happened is they sign up for a one-year tour of duty service under Federal Department of Defense National Guard. You do one year of active duty, you get five off. We don't do that in Texas. But if you get a year, if you want, you get a year off. However, we provided incentive, incentive pay, to get people to stay on. And so most people whose time has uh, expired for their service, 
we actually are able to keep them on. We have thousands okay, on. And Bill Malusian <laughs> has shown on your wait, wait, TV I'm sorry, show. Maybe I just interrupt you. You just said something on ac in action. Absolutely, but still millions of foreign nationals, a lot with criminal records, all of them brought here by the Mexican drug cartels, have managed to come in to the tune of five million more. We don't know, but millions and millions have come in through Texas. And so, first you said a lot of your guardsmen are abroad. Do, were you boasting about that, or do you see that as perverse, that they would be helping other countries while not present to defend our own? I'm saying it as a fact uh, that Texas has uh, uh, more of its guard uh, that are called up to active duty service to serve the United States of America, uh, which they are proud to do. It's just a but, fact. But that wouldn't, that but, that what, but wouldn't that, defending our own border from an invasion of millions of people be the single most important thing any American could do, particularly an American under arms whom you control? Well, those who are here in Texas, again, we, we've deployed up to 10,000 of them. Uh, the only reason why it would not be more, you got to understand this also, uh, and that is there are some who retire every single month. Uh, some who are no, I, uh, I get it, but, but, but why, not, service, why not? Why not just say I'm the governor of Texas? We're more every single. We're month. the greatest state in America. Every Texan I know, including relatives of mine, they mm -hmm. all think Texas is the best. You're the governor. Why don't you just say any person with military and law enforcement experience? can join up. We are starting our own force. It's volunteer or just go to Midland, Dallas and Houston and get your donors to fund it. They would. I'd send you money. Everyone send you money. And we're going to stop this on behalf of the state of Texas and the United States. You could do that. Biden people would back down in the face of that determination. Why not? Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know he could do that. So th th this is this is news to me. So I would donate. I surely would. If Greg, if Greg Abbott came out and said, hey, we're making our own force, but hey, we, we need your help to secure our border, to, to, to pay these guys and gals and to get, you know, razor wire and whatnot to, to make sure it's secure, I would surely donate. And I, I am sure most of you would too. Anybody with the ability to would. Tucker is 100% correct in my humble opinion. I mean, y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section, but I, I know whatever I can spend, I sure will. No, nah, obviously, I'm not going to break the bank, you know. I still got to eat, too, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, what, what, whatever I can, absolutely. Absolutely. 110%. Sheesh. Absolutely correct, Tuck. You could do that. Biden people would back down in the face of that determination. Why not? Uh, Tucker, actually, we, we onboard uh, new members every single month. We, we do go through both that recruiting process as well as people signing up. They onboard, they go through the training process, they get ready for deployment, and then we deploy them. So we are constantly involved uh, in adding to uh, those who can serve us on the border. And they get special training that is different what they have to do in the state of Texas compared to what they may do in Afghanistan. Do you see this as a hair on fire emergency that's more important than anything they would have done in Afghanistan or Ukraine or any other country around the world? Do you think this is the most important thing those guys should be, could so, be doing? Tucker, I have made that point to the United States Congress uh, asking for more resources so that we can better defend our border, knowing that the federal government is not defending our border. The only people capable of doing it uh, would be Texas. And what is Texas getting? Nothing. From the but federal people government. would send you, people money would send Tunisia, you money. If you Texas. started up a voluntary fund, send Greg Abbott money, people would put you in their wills. I mean, you'd probably be president of the United States if you did that. I'm serious. If you took control and closed the border, which you can do, you would be a folk hero sung about by future generations around the campfire. I, yeah. I, I just think it's that simple. Texas, once again, takes a stand against an invasion. It's not the first time you've done it. So, I think Tucker, you do it let, again. Let, me and let me tell you, we've done exactly that. I'll give you an example. I want you and your audience to know that today we uh, begin putting up even more border wall. Texas is the only state to build our own border wall. My point is this. We started a fund called uh, borderwall.tx. Uh, I can't remember the rest of it. We'll get it up for you. But anyway, we have okay. a fund. Uh, the people are given money to for Texas to continue building the border wall in addition to the billions of dollars. Understand this, Tucker. The state of Texas is coming out of our pocket to the tune of $4 billion every two years for Texas to secure the border, not the federal government's money. Yeah, well, I think the long-term costs of allowing this trump any cost in preventing it, just my view. I appreciate your coming on tonight, uh, Governor. Thank you very much.
So, um, honestly, I, I, I walk away from that video a little disappointed. Honestly, I do, you know, um, I, 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 I kind of considered, uh, Abbott, you know, one of, one of the better governors, um, in our nation. And, uh, he's, he's definitely fallen some spots listening to that. That's not the answer that I wanted to hear. Tucker gave him a great idea. He could have taken that and ran with it. You know what, Tucker? Actually, that's a, that's a fantastic idea. I am going to declare a state of emergency, an invasion, and uh, we're going to put together a force of volunteer guys and gals. And I'm sure, I don't, I don't know all of the ins and outs of all of this, so anybody with more information can let me know in the comment section. But I'm sure regular citizens of, Texan, of Texas would be happy to volunteer to join that force would be happy to volunteer and do it for free for free oh no 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 now not everybody can afford to do that i understand that but i'm sure there are a lot of folks in texas that would volunteer for free to go protect the border so this 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 is not what i wanted to hear from from uh abbott and um I hope Tucker continues to press him. And uh, if you're a citizen in Texas, maybe you should send a letter to, to Abbott. Okay? Send all types of letters to Abbott. Letting him know, hey, Tucker was right. You need to take his advice. Start that task force. Start that task force. I'll, I'll you know, I will uh, volunteer to be on it. I will donate to, you know, the, the cause or whatever. Um, I felt like Tucker was 100% correct. He would be looked at as the hero of the day, but yet he refuses. So I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just heard a bunch of excuses, you know, and, um, you know, I, I don't know the ins and outs of, you know, sending the, uh, troops overseas. Um, I think they should be here protecting our borders instead of overseas doing, you know, who knows what, but that's just my humble opinion, opinion. There's invasion going on on the southern border that I think needs needs addressing, especially since, uh, you know, that omnibus bill got passed. Unfortunately, that's just sending even more money to the border and none of it can be used to secure the border. It can only be used to process more people into the United States. That was the stipulation that they put on the money that they sent down to the border so they can say oh yeah we sent more money down to the border but it was money that can't be used to secure the border it's just money used to process more people uh so uh any republican that voted for that we need to ditch them it includes lindsey graham and mitch mcconnell of course i mean that 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 was to ex to be expected though um so yeah uh let's let's continue to press abbott uh, and let him know yeah tucker was right Tucker was 100% correct. After this video, send him a letter. I'm, I'm so serious. Because if, if this is shut down next month, oh my goodness. The whole narrative on this whole situation completely changes. It completely flips. You know, so, I, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. How do you feel about Abbott? Um, after this entire interaction, honestly, I'm down on Abbott right now. I haven't given up on him, but, uh, I'm definitely down on Abbott. Um, he still has an opportunity to turn it around and I hope he does. But anyway, peace and love. I'm out.